In today's video, you're going to learn how to turn this image into this. So you're going to learn all about how to create a new color palette and how to use those color palettes to create this image. So you'll watch me experiment with different colors to get the exact right uh, effect that we're looking for. So I've already created a color palette right here and we're going to use this color palette to turn this black and white image into this. So stick around until the end of the video to learn everything from start to finish. So in one of my previous videos, I showed people how to create this color palette from this image. So if you haven't seen that video already, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So this is the color palette that we're going to use to create the image. And also, if you wanted to follow along with this tutorial, I'll leave a link to this image in the description below. So let's right click and copy this image and let's go into Photoshop and I'm going to click on create new. So go to file new and Photoshop should automatically pick up the width and the height of the image that you just copied. But if it doesn't, just choose 1200 pixels by 1500 and the resolution should be at 72. And I'm going to leave the color mode on RGB. So, so it shouldn't be grayscale, it should be RGB, which stands for red, green and blue. And leave the background uh, uh, content to be white and just click on create. So to paste the image, just press Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac. You can also go edit and click on paste. And you should also be able to see this layers panel right here. So if you don't see this layers panel, go to Windows and click on layers right here. So let's create an uh, extra copy of this layer. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's just rename this layer by double clicking on it. And I'm just going to rename it to original. So let's create an extra copy by just clicking and dragging this into the new layer icon and there should be original copy. So the reason why I do this is so that if we make a mistake, we can just go back to the original copy. So choose the original copy layer and we're going to go into image adjustment and threshold. So what this does is it just turns the image into black and white. So there's no color, there's no gray, it's just black and white. And you can play around with this graph right here and you can increase the whiteness or you can increase the black. So the first thing is I want to uh, do the first layer, which is which will be kind of the darkest color. So that should be the details around his face. So let's just choose the details around his face and click on OK. So that should be the first detail. So now what, what I do is I choose the uh, magic wand tool. So that's right here. If you click and hold. There's two options, quick selection tool and magic wand tool. So choose the magic wand tool and we're going to click into the white area right here. So what it will do is it will just choose anything else that's white around that area. But we also want to select all of these areas right here as well, all of these whites around here. So to select that, we're going to go uh, and deselect contagious. So click off contagious right here and now click on a white part of the layer again and it will select everything else that is white around that area. So now uh, we can hide this layer now, which is the original copy layer, and let's choose a new layer. And we're going to go into the color palette and choose a color. So it's up to you what kind of colors you want to play around with. I'm mostly going to play around with the uh, red colors and maybe even some of these purplish colors around here as well. So I'm going to choose a dark maroon color like this one right here. So let's choose the color picker tool. I'm going to choose this one. Click on OK and I'm going to choose uh, rename this layer to dark maroon and let's choose the paint bucket tool and let's just fill that in. So there's our first color. So now we can go back to the original copy again and we can, we're going to create another copy. We're going to hide this as well and let's go back to image adjustment and threshold. So this, that's the outline that we had before for the maroon color. So for the next color, I'm going to expand it a little bit more. So we expand a bit more detail. So I think that looks pretty good there. So let's click on OK. And just like before, we're going to choose the magic wand tool and choose a white color. So it selects everything that's white and let's hide that. So now let's create another layer again. And this layer should be below the dark maroon uh, layer. So let's choose another color. So maybe a lighter color this time, maybe something like this one here. So let's see what this, would, this one would look like. And let's choose the paint bucket tool again and let's fill that in. So you can hardly see it, so you can't really see any of the details. So I'm going to undo that one. Maybe let's choose a lighter color like this one here. 
and let's fill that that one in so I think that's a little bit better now so let's zoom out and let's deselect by pressing ctrl D so that's the image that we've got so far so, so far it looks a bit scary but we, I think we can work on this um, to get the effect that we're looking for so the next two colors should be a lot um, lighter so now let's create another copy of the original uh, image and let's reveal it again and let's go back to image adjustment and threshold again so it actually looks pretty good on, on, on a black background so I actually kind of discovered that accidentally but uh, let's keep playing around with this anyway so let's uh, expand the whites a little bit more maybe about that much so I want to reveal quite a bit of the image now let's click on OK and let's choose the image um, I mean the magic wand tool and select the white colors let's go back to the color palette now and I want to choose a really light color this time so maybe something here from the top uh, maybe like one of these maybe this one right here this is quite a light kind of an orangey yeah it's not really a red color it's kind of orange and kind of brown as well but let's just try that out anyway so let's choose uh, click another layer so we can, again we can't really see that so let's choose let's undo that and choose a even lighter color so I'm not sure if we even have a lighter color maybe this one might be able to do the trick so let's choose this one and let's try that so I think that actually looks pretty good there so let's just try this on a black background so I'm just going to choose uh, create a new layer and I'll just choose a black color I'm just going to paint that in black so I actually think that looks pretty good it looks much better on black so I actually think that's a pretty cool effect there so now let's create one more layer I'm going to create one more color so let's create another layer and uh, let's reveal that layer again and let's go back to image adjustment threshold and let's reveal the whites again and we should get it just enough so it reveals everything around his beard and all of those details around there but not too much obviously so I think that's a bit too much so just about there and let's, let's hit okay so I think that looks good there let's select the white colors again and let's choose another layer and this time I'm going to choose this light gray color that we had before so I think it was this one right here so let's try that so I'm not sure how that would look but let's just try it out anyway so I think all the details are kind of gone now so maybe let's just try the color white and let's just see what that would look like no that actually we had that before so that was stupid of me so let's try this kind of light bluish color here and let's paste that in I don't think that looks good either I think we still need kind of a dark color so maybe this kind of a dark purplish color here let's try that out here so this is what you need to do you need to kind of keep trying out all these new colors until you get exactly the right color colors that you're looking for so let's zoom out so I think that actually looks pretty good there so we've kind of got the um, effect that we're looking for maybe we could actually try uh, try make it go darker um, around the edges and lighter uh, towards the uh, middle so maybe a light color in the middle will do better so let's choose the dark maroon layer and let's uh, hide that and create a new layer and maybe I'll choose a really light uh, red or maybe even one of these uh, bluish reds that we have and let's fill that in so I think that looks much better now so we've got the exact colors that we need so we've got the black background and we've got the purplish uh, dark details here and we've also got that pink and the red right in the middles there so that's how you create these types of images on Photoshop so you have to create the right color palette first so if you haven't seen the, uh, this video that I made uh, where I take this image and I create a color palette out of it and then you can create an image just like this so you can do this with any type of image uh, you can do this with portraits landscapes usually I do this uh, create this type of image and then I create a painting out of it and there's so many different options that you can uh, uh, there's so many different um, things you can do with this there's so many different um, uh, colors that you could use different types of images and you can get really creative with this so if you have any questions about um, this type of image uh, this these types of tutorials then comment down below and if you have uh, if you want me to keep making more videos like this or instead you want, want me to make more videos about uh, design design thinking then comment down below about that as well uh, other than that I'll see you in the next video